Anything else you want to know? Uh, yes, yes, Master. I'm a little bit unclear about the spiritual aspects when it comes to war. For example, when Master read the story in the Hadith, yes. which told of the two men fighting, and then the one that killed the man would go to hell. Yeah. And the other one would also go to hell because he had the intention of killing. Of course, he defends himself, but also the intention of killing. And killing is a great sin. Yes. It's not because this person came and tried to beat the other person up, but they agreed to fight, like in a duel. Ah, okay. No time if they don't settle any argument, they go for a duel. Yes, yes. And both will fight to the death. Yes. Also, sometimes they fight for a girl. All right. Yeah, whoever wins will take the hands of the girl. Oh, okay. oh, I don't know what kind of girl would like to take the hand so bloody like that. Yes, really. That's true. And on the body of somebody else. Yes, Master. Oh, yes. They should ask the girl who she likes not to go and decide it among the two of them. Yes, that's true. So in this case, they agree to fight to the death. Yes, Master. Both are really onto it to kill the opponent. That is what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was talking about at that time. It wasn't explained very clearly, that's why. Yes, Master. In Europe or everywhere before, they went for duos, you know that, right? Yes. yes. So that's what it was. So if two of them already wanted, intended to kill each other, then they will both go to hell, no matter who wins and who loses. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's what it is. Yes, Master, I understand. So the Ukrainian and the Russian war... Master has mentioned that Putin for sure will go to hell and that the soldiers who fight for him would go to hell. Mm. But then what about the Ukrainian citizens who bravely volunteered to defend their country and in the process of fighting they might kill? So would they also go to hell? Yeah, but less. Yes, yes. They would just be punished normally, generally, and also individually. It depends also. Yes. Like the people who could have died on Snake Island, they did not want to kill the Russians. They knew they were going to bomb them and they would die. Mm. Oh. Or maybe they didn't die, maybe they just came in and captured them. Mm. That was not very clear yet. Yes, yes, Master. But because they were talking together with the central, with the headquarters, their base, and then suddenly they heard all this conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Ukrainian soldiers there at the frontier told the Russians to F off. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go F yourself. Yeah, yeah. yes, Master. And then after that, uh, they heard an explosion or something or nothing, and then no more contact. Mm. So they presume that they died. And the president of Ukraine also confirmed yesterday, or maybe it was uh, older news, I don't know, that he will give them medals later. Oh, yeah, okay. Posthumous, posthumous uh, honor. So in this case, they will not go to hell. Yes, Master. And another soldier, very young, but he volunteered. He went to the bridge to blow up the bridge to slow down the advance of the Russian military troops because the bridge connects them to the other city where they're going in. Yes, Master. So the army did not have time to arrange it so that they can remotely do it. And then this soldier called and said, I will do it manually. And after that, boom, no more. Mm. It's gone. Right. He knew that he was going to die. Everybody knew that. So he sacrificed himself only. Yes, yes Master. And the others, heaven will be more lenient, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. To kill people because of aggression, because of greed, because of evil intentions, of course you'll be in hell forever. Yes. But to kill because of defense, to protect others. Mm -hmm. This is a different case. These soldiers, they kill because they want to protect their people. Right. That is for others, not for himself. Yes. Maybe also for himself, but I don't think they think that much about that. They know they might fight, they might die. Yes. But this is about their people. Sacrifice yourself, no matter what, for others. Yes, yes Master. Master. So this is still a very noble cause. But yes. So even if they go to hell, they will be there for just a short while. Right. Oh, okay. But in the Hadith, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has told you also the truth that both of them would go to hell. The aggressor who wanted to kill one man and the other man who fought back only to defend himself and to kill the others intentionally. Yes. Mm. But in the Ukraine case, they protect their country because the enemy just came in and want to kill their people. Yes, I understand. So 
leniency, compassion, and mercy will be heaven's judgment. Maybe they won't go scot free, but maybe they will. Ah, oh. right. Because they did not want to kill. That's right. Right. They are forced to, and they do that for others because they know they might die. Yes, yes master. master. Even if they did not have any uh, spiritual uh, concepts or anything, but their intention is very noble. Yes, Master. So they're going to be treated leniently. Yes, Master. So it's a different situation. You cannot always judge the same thing. Understand. It's not like black and white in the universal system. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Understand. Thus, I, I mean, we, heaven, could have rescued many already. Even though they did not eat vegan, even though they were butchers, but they did repent. They did watch Supreme Master TV for a while somehow and feel in tune with it, respect for it. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. And when they were down there, they did repent, they did call for help. Uh -huh. And their sentence was not yet completely stamped. They are not in hell for long yet. Yes, I uh -huh. understand. If they were, they would lose everything. They wouldn't remember how to call. Right. They wouldn't remember how to repent. They wouldn't remember God. Nothing. They would have no voice anymore. No thinking. No inside connection telepathy. Yes, yes master. master. So it depends also. Those people are supposed to be in hell, punished. But the master power still can rescue them because there were some connections. And they were repenting. Yes, Master. Mm. They would not go to uh, Timco to New Rim, of course. But they're out of hell. Mm, yes, yes I understand. And maybe they will be put somewhere so that they can do something to redeem their sin. But they're not in hell, not tortured every day like that. If they repent truly, sincerely, humbly, there is a remedy. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. So similar to the case of Ukraine, these people, they know war is bad. That they can die any moment because they jump into fire now. But for what? Not for themselves. Not to satisfy their ego or anything, not that they don't value life. They just want to sacrifice because they cannot bear this injustice and bullying force of the negative of the enemy. Yes, yes Master. Master. I told you, even I would do it if I were them. I understand. If I have not been taught differently. I'm glad you asked that question. I'm glad you did. Thank you for answering, Master. Clearing my uh, doubts. It depends, but not every soldier is the same. If someone with intention, malice or something, or just for themselves, or to gain some fame or feed their ego, then they could also go to hell. Understand. Yes, but if they're noble, they're clean, with clear and pure intention, just because they want to protect other people, their people, their country people, yes. and truly to dedicate just for that, to sacrifice their lives. Like they love others' lives, and love their country more than themselves then this is a different case. Yes, yes, yes master. master. If you concentrate on yourself, then you are just alone, narrow, tight, selfish, and not worthy. But if you love some other things, even your pet or your people more than yourself, that you could even die for them, then it's very noble. Yes, yes, master. yes master. Then heaven will give them leniency and will not send them to hell. Yes, Master. Yes, master. So it's just like even in the world, the law is not always black and white. It depends also. Yes, that's right. Sometimes you kill somebody, but because of self-defense, you're forced to. Then the court would also set you free. Or maybe just a couple of weeks or a couple of months in jail just for the case to be solved. Mm. So you are not classified as a murderer or will not be in jail for your killing. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Or sometimes you kill somebody just to protect another person and even then you will not be in jail you will not be judged as the murderer right yeah, right it depends because the other is the aggressor mm -hmm. so it's different it's the same justice is fair and heaven is never by us yes master. yes master hell same heaven and hell never side for anybody unjustly yes master. Right, master they always do it correctly fairly and Exactly. Mm. Yes, yes, Master. I'm glad you asked because I also did not think about that. Yeah, it's good. It's good you asked. Good question. Thank you, Master. Good also if the Ukrainians ever watch our show, they will feel better. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, Master. 
The same like when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told his disciples during war time that whoever fought for the faith, for Muslim faith at that time, will go to heaven. It's true like that. But it has to be the real cause. It's not like going bombing anybody like terrorists like that. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. It's not like that. At that time, they were harassing, persecuting the Prophet and his followers. So if they come to kill the family, this man fights back to protect his family or protect the Prophet or protect the Muslim faith. Then the heaven will not touch him like a killer. Yes, yes Master. Yes. The heaven will not send him to hell. He will go to heaven with so much deep faith in the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Do you understand me now? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. He is protected by his faith, by his belief in the great teacher, Prophet, and by his noble sacrifice for others, putting others before himself. Yes, yes, Master. So there will be judgment and judgment. It's not all black and white. You got it now? Yes, Master. I understand. And now the so-called Muslim nowadays just go out unprovoked, bombing people, standing in the market or in some crowded area, just killing mm -hmm. anybody, even their own brother and sister from the same faith. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. In the market, in the square, when he pulls the trigger of the bomb, he never asks people, are you also Muslim like me? Or you are Sunni or you are Shiite? There are two groups. He never asked. He just pulled the trigger and boom, everybody dies or gets wounded. Yes, yes, yes. So that is not the way of the Muslim. Yes, 